Greek art was often used as a medium for storytelling. Many works of art from ancient Greece, including pottery, sculpture, and metalwork, depict myths, legends, and stories from Greek mythology. These works of art were not only created for aesthetic purposes, but also served as a way to educate and entertain the audience. For example, Greek pottery was often decorated with scenes from myths and legends. These scenes would depict stories of gods, heroes, and monsters, and would often include detailed and accurate portrayals of the characters, animals, and objects involved in the story. Similarly, Greek sculpture was used to depict gods and heroes in a realistic and idealized manner, often portraying them in a heroic pose or action. In this video, we will explain how the Greek art served not only as a means of creating beauty, but also as a means of educating and entertaining ancient Greek society about their gods, heroes, and culture. There are many examples of scenes and myths that are depicted on Greek pottery. Some examples include the Trojan War. Greek pottery often depicted scenes from the Trojan War, including the Siege of Troy, the battles between the Greeks and the Trojans, and the eventual fall of Troy. The Labors of Heracles. The Labors of Heracles, also known as Hercules, were a popular subject on Greek pottery. These scenes depict Heracles performing the tasks assigned to him by the king of Mycenae as punishment for killing his family. The Odyssey. Scenes from Homer's epic poem The Odyssey were also popular on Greek pottery. These scenes often depicted the adventures of Odysseus and his crew as they journeyed home to Ithaca after the fall of Troy. The Battle of Centaurs and Lapiths. This mythological story was often depicted in Greek pottery. It tells the story of the battle between the Lapiths and the Centaurs, which took place at the wedding of Pirit House, King of the Lapiths, and Hippodamia. The story of Apollo and Daphne. The story of Apollo, the god of music, poetry, and prophecy, and Daphne, a nymph, who Apollo loved and pursued relentlessly until she was turned into a tree to escape him, was also a popular subject on Greek pottery. These are just a few examples. Greek pottery depicted a wide range of myths and legends, and many vases have been found that illustrate these stories in great detail. Greek pottery often depicted scenes of gods and goddesses from Greek mythology. These scenes would often depict the gods and goddesses in their various roles and associations, as well as their interactions with humans and other gods. Greek pottery often depicted the gods of Olympus, the home of the twelve Olympian gods and goddesses in Greek mythology. Dionysus, the god of wine and fertility, was a popular subject on Greek pottery. Scenes from his life and cult including his birth, childhood, and adult life, were often depicted on vases. Dionysus is also often depicted with his followers, the Menads and Satyrs. Apollo, the god of music, poetry, and prophecy, was also a popular subject on Greek pottery. Scenes depicting Apollo playing his lyre or participating in other musical activities were common, as well as scenes showing him with his twin sister, Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, was also commonly depicted on Greek pottery. Scenes of her birth from the sea, her marriage to Hephaestus, and her affairs with Ares and Adonis were popular subjects. Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare, was often shown with her symbol the owl or in battle gear. Hades, the god of death and afterlife, was not as commonly depicted as other gods on Greek pottery, but when he was, it was usually to depict his role as ruler of the underworld. 
These are just a few examples of the many scenes depicting gods and goddesses that can be found on Greek pottery. Greek pottery provided a way for ancient Greeks to tell stories and myths about their gods and goddesses and to depict them in a realistic and idealized manner. In ancient Greece, the gods played a central role in daily life. The Greek pantheon was home to many powerful deities, each with their own unique personality and domain. The stories and myths of these gods were passed down through the generations and were an integral part of the Greek culture. In the art of archaic and classical Greece, we can see many depictions of these gods and their stories. From the powerful Zeus, the sky god and father of the gods, to the wise Athena, the patron goddess of Athens, each god had specific attributes that identified them. The 12 principal deities in the Greek pantheon included Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Aphrodite, Dionysus, Ares, and Hephaestos. Each god had their own set of symbols and attributes, such as Zeus being associated with the ox and the oak tree, or Athena with the owl and the olive tree. Greek myths and legends explain the origins of the gods and their individual relationships with mankind. These stories were not only a source of entertainment, but also a way for the ancient Greeks to understand the world around them and make sense of the natural phenomena. Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in mainland Greece, was believed to be the home of the gods. This is where the gods were said to reside and where many temples and shrines were built in their honor. The gods played a significant role in the religious practices and daily lives of the ancient Greeks. The ancient Greeks worshipped in sanctuaries located in the city and in the countryside. These sanctuaries were sacred spaces that were set apart by an enclosure wall and were known as temenos. Inside the temenos, there were several important features such as the temple, which held a monumental cult image of the deity, an outdoor altar, statues, and votive offerings to the gods. Often, the sanctuaries would also include features of the landscape, such as sacred trees or springs, which helped to express the character of the divinities. For example, the temple at Sunyan, dedicated to Poseidon, god of the sea, commands a spectacular view of the water on three sides, thus expressing the god's connection to the sea. Similarly, the Parthenon on the rocky Athenian Acropolis celebrates the indomitable might of the goddess Athena. The temple was strategically built on the highest point of the city and its architectural design represents the goddess's power and wisdom. These sanctuaries were not only places of worship, but also served as a center for the community and a place of pilgrimage. Many sanctuaries were visited by people from all over Greece, and they played an important role in the religious and cultural life of ancient Greece. Sacrifice was an important part of ancient Greek religion and culture. It was a ritual offering of food, drink, or other gifts to the gods as a way to honor, placate, or seek their favor. The purpose of sacrifice was to establish and maintain a relationship with the gods. Different types of sacrifices were performed in ancient Greece, depending on the occasion and the deity being honored. The most common type of sacrifice was the blood sacrifice, where animals, usually sheep, goats, or cattle, were sacrificed, usually by slaughtering them. The blood of the animal was poured on the altar, while the meat was either burned on the altar or consumed by the priest and the community. Another type of sacrifice was the libation, where liquids such as wine, oil, or milk were poured on the altar or into the earth as an offering to the gods.
This type of sacrifice was common in rituals such as festivals and religious ceremonies. The Greeks also performed unbloody sacrifices where fruits, vegetables, or cakes were offered to the gods. This type of sacrifice was often used in rituals dedicated to goddesses and thonic deities who were associated with the earth, fertility, and the afterlife. The depiction of sacrifices on ancient Greek pottery is a common theme that can be found on many vases from the archaic and classical periods. These scenes often depict the various stages of a sacrifice, from the preparation of the animal to the actual sacrifice itself. They also show the participants in the sacrifice, including the priests, the sacrificers, and the people attending the ceremony. Overall, the depiction of sacrifices on ancient Greek pottery provides a valuable insight into the religious practices of ancient Greece, showing the importance of sacrifice in the Greek religion and culture. These scenes also serve as a reminder of the close relationship between the ancient Greeks and their gods and the role that religion played in their daily lives. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more amazing content.